so Mercy Corps is an international NGO that exists to alleviate poverty, suffering, and oppression uh, by building secure, just, and productive communities around the world. Uh, we're working in 40 countries, and within Southeast Asia, we're working in Myanmar, uh, Timor-Leste, and uh, Indonesia. Within Myanmar, we're, we have two major pieces of work. So the first one is around uh, inclusive economic growth. So market development, helping farmers grow their businesses and in the energy sector. And then the second major piece of our work is around peace and governance. So supporting the ongoing peace process between the government, ethnic armed groups, and communities. So I think in, in Southeast Asia, first off, there's a lot of variety between the different countries. Um, between, for example, Indonesia and Myanmar, just completely levels, different levels of development. So it, I think the first trend is quite different and nuanced approaches in different countries. Uh, a second thing that I, I can point out is the impact of, of climate change and the importance of resilience. Uh, in communities within Southeast Asia, especially for a country like Myanmar, extremely vulnerable to climate change and severe weather events. Um, and that's true of many countries within the region, especially in the Delta countries. Um, and maybe, maybe third, I think um, there's an ongoing trend around urbanization happening in Southeast Asia. So I think the development community needs to think about how we address some of those big trends that are happening, including supporting resilience of urban centers um, as they continue to swell. I'm fortunate to be hosting a panel on, on mobile for development, and it's a very broad topic, but uh, we have some excellent panelists um, from Marie Stopes and from the UN talking about how they're using mobile in their programs. I think, you know, mobile, it's, it's been, you know, highly touted as a tool that most organizations are using now. And I think uh, one of the things that we're going to be discussing on our panel is how to move from data and information, so either collecting data from communities, sending out information, and moving towards more higher value add, higher, in, more impactful services around transactions, so supply chain integration, uh, mobile money, and then to integrated solutions that combine uh, transactions and information so that these solutions add even more valuable value to communities that we work with. Uh, Myanmar First is a really exciting market to be working on mobile. Um, just five, six years ago, SIMs cost hundreds of dollars, and there were fewer than you know five percent of people using mobile phones. And today. Um, more than 90% of people have access to SIM cards and 80% of those are smartphone users. So I think Myanmar is a really unique country for testing mobile solutions. Um, and while we're at its, in our infancy here in Myanmar, I think we have a lot to learn from the countries in the region about what types of mobile solutions can work. Um, not only from the region, but also from East Africa. But at the same time, I think we need to account for some of the unique aspects of Myanmar and the smartphone penetration um, as we, we build apps that are for the Myanmar people and for a specific context. Uh, this is my first Asian Development Summit, so I'm, I'm quite happy to be here and networking with uh, colleagues uh, from around the region. I'm quite impressed with the diverse group that's been brought together, um, and I'm really looking forward to engaging not only on my panel on mobile, but on a, a number of discussions that touch on agriculture, that touch on resilience, that touch on DRR. Um, so looking forward to the two days. Mm -hmm.